Good morning, Florida Southern, and welcome to the new news show. I'm Tyler Hillier. And I'm John Cody, and we're here to update you on all the local, campus, and national news. Uh, John, I, I didn't realize we were doing the Pledge of Allegiance before we started. We're not, so. Tyler. We're <laughs> not. Oh, that's right. You broke your thumb. <laughs> Anyways, John. So, Southern Cinema is this Thursday at 8 p.m. Ace will be showing Inside Out, a movie about how your emotions control everything in your life. The movie will be shown in Badcock Gardens with a rain location in the Fannin Center. Now, I'll be there, hopefully, to learn how to feel. Take that, Dad. Pi Kappa Phi is hosting a Nerf War on Wednesday, the 18th, as a philanthropy event to benefit the ability experience. Teams will be entered in a tournament in the Honeyman Pavilion to fight to the death through a Nerf War battle. Then, the winners will be drafted into the United States Army. Congratulations, guys. <sighs> Wish you'd get drafted, John. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> Anyways, ROTC is hosting its Tough Turkey 5K this Saturday. Registration for the event is $35. The race will begin from the Southern Landing at 7.30 a.m. And it's the perfect way to work off half a pound before you gain 10 on Thanksgiving. For more information, visit Florida Southern ROTC Facebook page. The Florida Southern Festival of Fine Arts will open this production of Chess on November 19th at Buckner Theater. Performance dates are November 19th to the 22nd and will continue after Thanksgiving break. So get this, the Tony winning award winning opera is an enchanting tale of a love triangle in the middle of a personal and political strain between the American Soviet rival at the World Chess Championship. Actually, in my dissertation about the musical... John, we, sh sh shut up, John. Sorry. Enough. <clears throat> Anyways, here is Alex Schwach and Kyle Shadow with the news that actually matters in the Midweek Update. Welcome to the Midweek Update. I'm Alex Schwach and Kyle Shadow, and I'm here to tell you about the important stuff. Donald Trump practiced some old-fashioned entertaining politics this Sunday when he tweeted that he was glad Ronda Rousey lost her fight because she is, quote, not a nice person, end quote. Quite the punch, Trump, and some good publicity. <laughs> Trump also said earlier this week that if elected, he will be kicking out all Syrian refugees and is also considering closing some mosques in the U.S. Now, this is one thing that I like about Trump. He's an honest politician. At least he's upfront about trampling on the First Amendment. I guess the Trump Hotel hospitality doesn't translate to rescuing people from war. In response to the war on Christmas, Starbucks is really standing its ground with its plain red cups by serving the Christmas blend coffee, selling Christmas ornaments, and advent calendars in its stores. In other news, there is still nothing in any large coffee establishment celebrating Hanukkah, so maybe next year, guys. <laughs> That's all we have for you today, Mox. Thanks for tuning in to The Important Stuff. That's all we have for you today, Florida Southern. Remember to check back here next week for your FSC News Source. And remember, the buck stops here. <laughs> oh. <laughs>